Okay. No one, and I mean no one, hurts so, my friends. I thought I'd play with Ultra Instinct Goku. He's pretty fun. He's got some cool stuff. Beerus too. Frieza. Frieza. What an unexpected thrill. So, I like all of these characters, but I just don't play them enough. I've done some neat stuff with Frieza before where I'm like, oh, cool. Like, And I was playing with Beerus like twice in my entire time with this game. And I was like, yeah, you know. And as a character, UI Goku doesn't particularly excite me because I don't really keep up to date with stuff like that. But, uh, you know, when I started playing him, I was like, oh, well, he's actually got quite a lot of cool stuff. just a shame that, you know, sometimes when a character is super popular, it kind of turns you off of them a little bit. Like one of my friends, he is totally fine literally playing the Ryu of every fighting game. And we'll go in and go, Ryu's got some cool shit. And it's like, well, I wouldn't really categorize it as cool because it's just you see it all the time. And it's the same, like, he's also played in Kang in uh, Mortal Kombat and then he'd play like... They know you who he is playing in our right? Tekken. Vegeta? So, let's get started. Get ready! Yeah. So sometimes I'm like turned off by the option for Joku's. Dragon Ball, and I'm just like, uh. Oh, I'm not so scared. Damn it! Yeah, the meat yeah. I like that. He's got a lot of cool shit. I feel like Ferris could use more. That's one thing. He's got some cool normals and he's got some interesting normals, but I feel like the specials are a bit like, oh. Or punch ground. Hmm. Yeah, Beerus is pretty neat. You can do some neat stuff with Beerus. Some pretty neat stuff. It's pretty good. Uh. This should be a great fight. Yeah, and that, like I like I was showing off some of the stuff that you can do with Goku in uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. And he has some nice Ed stuff, and he's got these cool moves that. I'm ready when you are. <laughs> hey, if you're not a Super Saiyan, maybe I can. No, I'm toast. It's all or nothing. Go! Yeah! 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 Yeah!
There's some pretty neat stuff about Oh, cool. I do love learning the cannon, though. It's essentially, we're going to make Johan this character who doesn't rely on Super Saiyan transformations. Uh, Jules becomes really strong through using just his martial arts skills and, like, unlocking his hidden potential. And then they're like, wait, fuck Johan. Let's just give all of that to Goku and he'll have an alternate instinct because, you know, that's just basically a potential of using martial arts skill. And you're just kind of like... Seriously, you're never gonna get anyone but Goku in this, in this kind of anything cool like. But at least in Z, people have some cool things. Like, oh, cool, Piccolo's got a power. Oh, cool, Vegeta's got his own branching path, kind of. And he's like, a super saying in a different way. Oh, Trunks. You know what I mean? And now it's just like, sorry, it's the Goku show. Yeah, that would take <laughs> Go straight into an overhead hit there. The problem is I don't play a lot of Ultra Instinct Goku, so I tend to forget what I'm supposed to do and what his supers are, so I tend to do the wrong super. I like, I like that level one super for Frieza. It's, it's really neat. It just comes out. It's pretty good. A hearted effort will result in a quick death. Frieza, win! Now start begging for your life. Not that I listen. <laughs> Yeah, some neat stuff you can do with Frieza. Huh. That I tried I tried using Gohan for a bit. Like adult Gohan, and I was like, oh, there, he's got some cool stuff. And he does, he does. It's just that I uh, never really got into the character so much that I was like, oh, yeah, like, I just want to play Gohan the whole time. He's all right, though. I'm not great with him, either. And I it doesn't click with me quite well, so... <laughs> so this is your full power, huh? Ready? Fight it out! Fight you! You're not you going anywhere! Freezer! Yeah. screen fill. Just gonna stop him. Like a lot of it, it's basically just like a lot of it. 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 Like a In your first reset, they are playable characters. We need that space for more Gokus. How Tingy just got hit with that one guy. Fight me now. They just go on so dead in the uh, manga. <laughs> what a waste of my life. <laughs> yeah, that's basically the entirety of like Dragon Ball's writing, though, isn't it? It's like, look at all this amazing potential that could go anywhere. Oh. Goku beat them. Oh, they're now irrelevant and will just turn into trash. And you're just like, oh. Wow. It's not the only anime that suffers from this, but the fact I'd say most 
of the things that I've watched have it's just it's just spamming the <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. Let me do this. My level three isn't it? Sorry, I was out of range to be fair. Ultra Instinct. Goku! Win! You know, Lord Beerus, I think I can finally give you more than a good fight now. It's, it just annoys me so much because it's like Tien's been practicing martial arts, just martial arts his whole life, and it's like, no, the guy with all the OP buffs needs the martial arts oriented, like, there's so many characters who you could have theoretically given that because it's like a generic humans could achieve that. Anybody can achieve that power up and they're like, no, Goku gets it. It's like, oh, fuck's sake, give anyone else a chance. <laughs> like, I know why they don't give Vegeta a chance. I mean, it's literally because Toriyama fucking hates Vegeta, but you know, you're like, come on, man. All right, Gohan. You better not hold back. <laughs> I'm gonna beat up my kid's son with at full power. <laughs> I will stop you. I highly doubt that. <laughs> well, he probably will now because the AI will wreck me. Now, if you want to talk about wasted potential. You could say that for a lot of side characters in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure 2, where you're like, that's an amazing power set and an interesting personality behind it. I'm glad he will never return and we will never see him or he will get killed in the next episode. They, they love that shit. Here's a cool character. Here's Kamina. He dies in eight episodes after basically doing about three cool things and getting the girl straight away. And then it's like, oh yeah, great. Krillin just threw a rock on my face. Still working out the properties of Golden Freezer. I just do the shit that I would normally do and I hope it does more damage and I got more armor or something. He's faster. Yeah, I, I don't play enough Freezer to know what the fuck I'm doing. I just know the basic shit where it's like, do this and this will hit. <laughs> golden freezer. Yeah. We've murdered Curlin. He's been wiped from existence. Feels a bit harsh, to be honest. <laughs> like, I wonder if I took it too far. <laughs> you fucking wipe Krillin out of existence. It's so, yeah. only a matter of time before you master that power. I might actually need to start paying attention in our fights. Mm hmm. Oh man. Kid Boo. Fucking Kid Boo. I don't like fighting Kid Boo, but this now that I've got on the understanding of how his moves work, because the AI uses certain moves with him a lot, I've started to realize, oh, this means, yeah, like it's a throw move, but you can block it, and it's a projectile, <laughs> and I'm like, uh, I think I'm overthinking it. Ready when you are. Boo, man. I 
really like that move. Can you tell her that I like that move? Because I always go for it. Such a neat move. Any move where you go so fast that it counts as a throw move, and you appear behind the guy and he reacts later. I'm all about that shit. I eat that shit up. Notice I always end with the tail slap there. <laughs> Very pretty super too. Very pretty. Damn it. He really likes that move. Cell really like the AI for Cell really likes using his like big area of effect explosion and who just fucking means that shit. When you lose track of the guy, but you know he's in front of you somewhere in an arc, just, just throw that out. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know what that 30 seconds was of me just standing there and going, huh? Probably drinking something. Damn it. How many times has he used that? Oh! Got slapped out of it. Yeah, that, that move doesn't seem to have a lot of priority. I get slapped out of it a lot by things that are faster. And the range is not great. Yeah, he was too close, but you know what I mean. Let's see how many times I fail to hit the guy directly in front of me because he just stands there and blocks on him, like, just keep throwing things out until he stops blocking. What a win. Hell's Own Grenade is a great fun visual move. I really like Hell's Own Grenade as a concept and the name's cool. In, in this game, virtually, virtually everything, virtually everything cancels it out. Any of the ones where it's like projectiles spawn in the air, if the enemy, if the user gets hit while they're in the air and they start moving, they all just cancel out and explode. And that's like Kefla's one as well. That's so annoying. They're just there, and then you get hit, they just explode, and, like, it's time to face and do nothing. But I love Hell's Own Grenade. I hate that it's like not always the best option. I'm glad they put hit in the game. I'm really glad they put hit in the game. I like playing this hit. I'm bad at hit, but I like playing as him. He's quite fun. Let's hurry up and get this started. Which one is more powerful? Flashy, flashy transformation or Ultra Instinct? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Fucking hell. I'm just not fucking everything. Ah, that's why I don't use assists. Because <laughs> I always bring them out. They don't come out when I want them to, because I do it at the wrong points when I'm ready. Or they come out at the worst possible time of game here, and I'm like, fuck. Give me your best. Wayne's going to pull them on the side. Just kind of stood there again. Sometimes I feel like I'm like, wait, what the? <laughs> what the dub? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's what I was doing. I was trying to pause the game for a second. <laughs> and then it didn't pause when I wanted it to. And then it paused like, later because I. Like, Lost me the match, so I was too busy to try to strike my face or something. <laughs> How many Rift versions of that have we seen in this one, like, around? Oh. oh, fuck, I fought it once. No, I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Because for some reason that Vegeta really wanted to kill everyone. You want full power? That's ridiculous. You lose. I said I could handle this on my own. If you stick your nose in my business again, you're going to be sorry. Grumpy Vegeta. Vegeta went from evil and loving it to just grumpy man. <laughs> like, throughout that, that's his heart. He's just, I am grumpy, you're in that way. You don't understand. I'm very serious about training. It's just like, eh, peace Vegeta at least had a little bit of fun with it. <laughs> I kind of miss Dragon Ball Z's. Uh, you know, Super Saiyan Vegeta, where he was just like much more like cocky and arrogant and like aggressive. Body, what is that? Oh, that was neat. Then I dropped it. And now I'm dead again. Oh, he did the move where you can't hear him. Yeah. See you when I know when I try and I can actually do some shit. <laughs> oh, lucky you got hit on that. Just clipped him. I was right to seek further evolution. <laughs> Don't you love it when you do that or sparking and you're like, yes, I'm going to beat him now. And you're just, the AI's like, time to turn on bullshit mode. And you're like, oh, oh. He's putting, he's actually playing. No, I don't play. I just want to be done transformation and win. I play for the visual aesthetic. Fucking up. <laughs> no! I <laughs> just flicked the air next to you. I lost Beerus because I was too busy flicking the air. <laughs> yeah. Is that all 
all you've got? Goku! He's taunting himself. I can't give in now. Everyone's counting on me. <laughs> Who's next? Last one. Down we go to level two because I fucking suck. <laughs> <coughs> But you know, there was some good freezer stuff in there. I did some neat freezer stuff where I'm like, oh, that's pretty good, but that was like hardly any of words. <laughs> I really need to get more consistent and my attention just goes in and out like, wait, what are we doing? Wait, I've forgotten everything. Wait, huh? And then I just collapse, you know. Can't stay focused with fighting games Let's anymore. See you try to kill me now, Frieza. Look at my weird hand feet. Well, now, I may actually have to put forth some effort in this fight. <laughs> Are you ready? Fight it out! Right, go, go, go. <laughs> I didn't get <laughs> Oh, I fucked up that. He blocked the cool move. Moral loss. I just want to see the cool move. Somehow that kick missed on the way down. I think it's because he recovered. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Now about this. He just went through the orbs. But then he also missed. Oh I blocked. That was a weird fight, but okay, yeah. So this means there will be no need for Monaka to fight then. It's only a matter of time before you master that power. I might actually need to start paying attention in our fights. Hmm. Okay, that was pretty short. That's that's that then. <laughs> <laughs> 